Listen, I don't know if you guys are familiar with who I am, but two nights ago, 30 miles north, I won the biggest heavyweight title in the Northeast Independent Wrestling. Now, I'm not going to be demoted to some stupid secret show in front of you losers. for punching Scotty Slade in the face. Ilya the Worcester native feels as though he deserves better bo uh, better billing here at Beyond Wrestling. He's got a huge opportunity. Yes, he is the chaotic uh, heavyweight champion. Obviously, Brian Fury very proud of all of his students who took home gold after Cold Fury this past weekend. Yeah, big accomplishment for Ilya. Oh! But Dude, we've been wrestling, even being 23, we've been wrestling a long time. He's been wrestling 10 years. That's nuts. 10 years. He started when he was 13. He's the youngest vet I know. He wrestled uh, OVW, TNA. I don't really chop, just want to see you guys be quiet. And Scotty Slade, you know, this guy's a bit of a character. I went to high school with this guy. What? Swear to God. Unreal. It's incredible how uh, you never know what Journey's life's going to bring you on. Cross bats with Scotty Slade once again, but Scotty Slade, he's been on a couple of the secret shows, the New England Manias as well. We saw him uh, wrestle Warbeard Hansen one on one back in December prior to Party Animals. Were you guys buds in high school? We used to do backyard wrestling together. I'm blown away by we, this. We had a mutual friend. Yes! Slade's slipping off. We went to his house a few times. A very nice dog. Now He's a very a nice neck guy. breaker. He's graduated. <laughs> the homage to Brian Fury there. Ilya slips out to the apron. Yeah, Ilya probably has a trick up his sleeve. I would imagine quite a few if he's been wrestling for 10 years. He's only 23 years old. Crazy. Taking the fight on the apron. Very dangerous position. Oh. I think uh, this may actually be Ilya's first singles match on a Beyond Wrestling live event. Uh-oh, as he's looking perhaps for a Death Valley driver. Oh, oh Scotty Slade trying to free himself. Oh, oh no! no! Oh, boy. Awkward landing on that top rope, hitting the apron and spilling really, to the floor. Really bad landing. I'm hoping Scotty Slade's okay. It's, it's, it's difficult to account for how high the ropes are in this ring. About a half a foot higher than they typically are in most professional wrestling rings. But it doesn't break! That's good. Now, jaw jacking with Stephen Dumang. You can't blame Ilya for running his mouth after all the trash that Scotty Slade was talking. The Greek freak! Pretty well put together individual, again, 23 years old. Bringing Slade up to a vertical base. Big suplex there from Ilya. Slade's hurting right now. Hooks the leg. You know, this guy is like 10 years away from like hitting his prime if he continues to progress in the realm of professional wrestling. That's dumb. That's dumb. A decade. Think about 20 years at the age of 33. I need to stop talking about it, but I'm blown away. Oh, please, you're another one. Just turned 20 years old today. <laughs> Running the biggest professional wrestling company in Maine. One of the biggest <laughs> ones in all of New England and the East Coast. Trying. If, if you haven't, please check out Limitless Wrestling. You, you can hit him with the URL. 
Is it LimitlessWrestling.com? LimitlessWrestling.com. Oh, YouTube.com you slash LimitlessWrestling. You bastard. We couldn't get BeyondWrestling.com. Some guy wants $10,000 for it. Ten now. grand? Not happening. Just like Scotty Slade, not happening. Trying to mount a comeback to no avail. And smart of Ilya to keep going with these consistent pins. It does, I mean, Scotty Slade being a smaller guy, it takes a lot to push a guy like Ilya off, off the top of you. Grinding that elbow into the shoulder while rearing back on that arm. Not sure if he can get a submission from this predicament. He can certainly wear down Scotty Slade. Slade trying to get back to his feet. He does. Throwing some big forearms and a big chop from Slade. Trying to get some sort of combination together. Sends Ely out of the corner, who reverses and sends Slade across the ring. Oh! Here comes Slade. Oh! And to the top. Oh! Big drop kick. Ely is down. Down, but not out. Slade trying to figure out what to do next. Maybe waiting for his opponent to get back up to his feet to hit him with another one of those knees. Slade taking his time. Could be Ilya. a mistake when your opponent's that much taller than you, has longer limbs, you really want to try and keep him down on the mat. Ooh, Slade back on his feet. That's resourcefulness. Let's get him hooked up. Ooh! Spun him right around in that face buster. Only two. What does Slade need to do? Going back to Elia. Now bringing him into the corner. Got that head hooked. Maybe looking for tornado DDT. Oh boy. Uh, Ilya using his momentum to spin him around a full rotation. Caught him. Might have caught him a little bit low. Using the ropes and down oh. they go. A double slingshot jackhammer. Very impressive. And a second away from the win. Again, I'm telling you, when you can do that to your opponent, when you can muscle him around like that, it's very disorienting. You've seen a lot of maneuvers like that today. And now Ilya might be looking to choke slam Scotty Slade. He's got to get him back up to his feet first. Even when you are bigger than your opponent, if you got him down, keep him down. You'd think a 10-year veteran of wrestling would know better, but that does not want to be outdone by Scotty Slade. Although even still, I mean, he's done enough damage. He's manhandling Slade right now. Oh. Put Slade up on the top. Some big shots there from Ilya. Scotty Slade, couple shots to the rib though. Might be all that he needs. Oh. Ilya losing his footing. He's about three quarters away across the ring and leaping up. Slade still able to strike first. Let's get the head hook. Oh no. Oh! DDT from the second row. One, two. Just barely must have got that shoulder up, Denver. Referee's got a better vantage point than us. I mean, you see him all the time. The referees, they put their hands under the shoulders. And if that shoulder's up, even at all, if they can get a finger under that, that shoulder is up. Ilya Markopoulos now, fireman's carry position. Looks for that TKO. Oh! And instead, taking out with a super kick. Scotty Slate's get him hooked once again. A second time on the face. The center of the ring. That's it.